So, is Ronnie O'Sullivan going to pull away? Or is Liang Wenbo going to get back into contention? OK, Ronnie. Thank you, frame five. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Yeah, the worry for Liang, he's been second best in every department so far this evening. He has to up his game after the mid-session interval. That was a tough shot from tight on the rail. And it doesn't look any easier if you're 3-1 down. Yeah, and catching it thick's the worst thing imaginable. A I don't know if Ronnie deliberately played the top knuckle there. I don't think he did actually, but there's a bonus in that the pink goes. So he could be off and running. Sullivan's had a few disappointing defeats lately. Lost 4-3 from 3-0 up to Mark Davis in the Welsh Open. Usually such an authoritative front runner. I would be very surprised if O'Sullivan hadn't been practicing very intensively last couple of weeks to get the edge back on his game seven that's what it looks like tonight anyway yes he is he's looking sharper as the match goes on eight that's a tricky little shot can you play a little soft screw oh that's a beautiful shot I think he can hold for the black. Fifteen. The red may be forced to go up for blue. Sixteen. Once again, perfectly top side of it. Twenty-one. Top side again as an absolute must. 22. Not quite as intended, but he could play two cushions into the... try and hit the pink, or can he force an angle? Yeah, I think two cushions there was probably the way to go. He would have liked to have hit 27. the apex ball, and he didn't. Yes, he maybe just felt the angle was wrong. Playing the two cushions and uh, having to inject that kind Ronnie of pace, Sullivan, he just lost 27. the... Here, a control of the cue ball. said that Liang's been second best in every department I think that he's got to take some risks from here on in Liang get the reds opened up it is a risk because of course he could be inviting Ronnie to knock in a long red but uh, I don't think he's going to get any change out of O'Sullivan tonight just trying to compete in safety I think he's got to change his tactics get them opened a couple of risks here and there just to change it up a little
very good safety from O'Sullivan. There were several reds he there were several reds he could have left, but he hasn't left any of them. It's over half an hour of playing time since Liang potted a ball. Again, just another little symptom there of the pressure that O'Sullivan has Liang under in the safety department tonight. O'Sullivan just isn't making any errors. Got Liang under the hammer at all times. Now this time he hasn't covered the red. Left the picture. And this is the type of shot that Liang has to start knocking in. He's going to make inroads in this match. Well, the longer you've been kept out, the harder it gets. Yeah, just pressure, isn't it? Been frozen, not so much frozen out of the match, but under so much pressure, every time he comes to the table, he's got a tough shot. He's either in a bit of trouble or he's faced with a, t a difficult red like that. And when you've not potted a ball for more than half an hour, they look increasingly difficult. That wasn't the positional outcome that O'Sullivan was looking for. The kiss off the second red prevented him from potting the black, but. He had a pink in reserve. That was another gorgeous shot in the pink. Just dropped his arm through it. Seven. Never touched the sides. Really starting to motor now, O'Sullivan. Eight. Enjoying the table. The table looks like it's playing beautifully. Fifteen. Again, just a brilliant shot choice there, playing for yellow <coughs> and brown. Made the pot a certainty. Guaranteed position. Not only beginning to play well, he's thinking properly. Nineteen. Clarity of mind, a priceless asset for a snooker player. Another frame in the bag. Forty five. Forty six. Fifty three. Fifty 
54. <clears throat> now he's starting to have fun out there. <laughs> Another 60. beautiful positional shot played to the inch. 61. Adding this to previous frame winners of 72, 65 and 118. It's not just the fact that he's winning the frame in one visit, it's, it's the way that he does it. You know, Liang there, sitting in the chair, you can't help but admire sometimes. 76. Many a time I've sat in the chair, taking punishment from Ronnie. Maybe, as I say, he'll be admiring this, 79. but it's not easy to take. It has, in fact, been 36 minutes of playing time since Liang has potted 83. the ball. And the fun continues. 88. Romeo Sullivan continues what has become a masterclass. He leads Liang Wenbo by four frames to one.